Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel. Friends, in earlier videos, I have explained you that how exactly you can do a bypass of your DLP agent. But one of my community member who joined the community, he's facing some issues with the DLP and they would like to know that without uninstallation of DLP agent, how exactly they can disable their DLP agent completely so that it will be easier for them to test the issue because as you know uninstallation and installation it take time right and why they are not bypassing the dlp that is also i'll let you know all through i have covered this in my previous video but before i show you the method to disable dlp let me just walk you through with the one settings so for that let me log into my console so that i'll be able to explain you in better way skip and uh, as i explained earlier if i go to the endpoint profile and if i open you know my profile which is available right now here just a one profile available so let's open that and when i go to the properties then you can see here enable monitoring mode which means when you bypass your dlp agent all through it will not block anything however whatever the things you are doing on the your pc all uh, things are getting monitored okay and if you just simply tick this box then what exactly happen uh, as per the policy it will generate the logs okay so right now i am not going to enable this but this is just for your information which means even through your dlp agent is in bypass mode it has the capability to monitor all the activities on your system so the better way is how exactly you can kill your dlp okay without uninstalling that okay so for that let me just you know go to one of the endpoint so for that we'll go to the same endpoint which is our test machine fe hyphen windows 10 so let's jump to there okay now if i go open my force dlp agent then you can see here and if i want to disable that i simply have to click here and exchange the code okay so that i'll be able to bypass this machine however if you don't want to bypass your dlp agent i mean and disable it completely how you can exactly you can do that then there is no option available on the console so let me just close this for now and if i hover my mouse in the force point dlp agent icon then it will show you force point one endpoint dlp status is enabled so let me show you how exactly you can do that for that very first let's browse to my this pc then c drive program files websense and then websense endpoint and copy this path completely okay now we'll again go to the cmd and run this with admin privileges and once cmd is open then as i said here we have to navigate to this particular directory and hit enter so we are right now in websense dlp agent folder here we need to type one command that is wde util hyphen stop ws dlp which means websense dlp and hit enter the password is same okay which you use during your uh, dlp agent package builder uh, or you can, you can say dlp agent creation or in your uh, force point uh, dlp console the you know the password which you have set both password should be has to be same so let me enter my password and before i enter let me just show you again the status here okay now let's hit on enter what it's saying service ws dlp is stopping and is now stopped again let's move my uh, our mouse and you can see our force point one endpoint is in disable state if i open the console you know agent ui again then it doesn't have any option which means it's completely disabled okay now whatever the things you would like to perform on your pc you can perform and this particular process doesn't require your dlp to be uninstalled and it is enough for your troubleshooting when you suspecting that one of the issue is getting caused by your dlp agent or something else However, if you want, you can have this uninstall as well. Okay, but disabling this particular, you know, tool is always best, uh, better idea. 
now let me close this and what we'll do we'll again enable the services for that we just have to mention wd util space hyphen start ws dlp which is websense dlp and then hit enter service is now started let's check out see is come back to normal mode and the status is also showing enabled and guys for any reason if you have combined agent which means you are uh, dlp agent as well as proxy agent in the same package then in this situation what you can do you can just mention the same command and here mention all wd util space hyphen stop and then all and hit enter uh, you will have to you know enter the same credential again and it will stop everything perfect this will kill your dlp agent completely guys okay you can see it this is also gone from your task manager correct now let me start again all and hit enter dlp agent is now started see it's come back see as it is so hopefully guys in this particular video you got something to learn right also this is are something advanced troubleshooting technique okay but since my members are facing issues so it's my duty to get those things answered because i always there to help you irrespective of whatever the situation is and increase your knowledge base and i'm really hoping that with this particular skill you will be able to address your issues smoothly if yes then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe share this video with your friends colleagues who is working on the postman dlp because it may help them also if they didn't know about this command and uh, that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye